Here are app developers ready to showcase their awesomeness. Choice is for the most BC student applicable pool app. Thank you all. Hi, I'm Christiana Tweet, and I'm a junior studying info systems and marketing in Carroll School of Management. And my app is called Travel Buddy. I'm going abroad in the spring to Barcelona, so I wanted a place for people to kind of connect while they're going abroad, maybe share expenses while getting Airbnbs. And here's just the beginning with some pictures of places you could go to. You find your city, so I'll enter in Barcelona and then click here to connect and you'll get weather information for the country you're going to, a pin of the location, different restaurant reviews, and if you add your own review, it'll link directly to what location you're going to. So if I want to review some cafes in Barcelona, I can do that and rate my experience and see what other people have to say about the same places. Also, if I want to see where people are going, I could see when people are leaving and arriving and then how many people are interested in going and then also reach out to the person that's planning this trip to kind of see. This is fantastic. This is a pretty, pretty complex app. So you must have been a ringer. You were building a lot of apps before this class. Is that right? No. No? no have, had you, first, had you, time. first time you built apps and you're Ooh. doing this. You got multi-user stuff and logging in and maps and everything. Well, fantastic work, Christiana. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Jack Wilshire. I'm a sophomore studying information systems and accounting. And I developed the app called Instamurals, where it takes different sporting events and it keeps track of them. Uh, it has all of everyone's games that they've played. Uh, you can go in, add a new event, you just select what sport it was, a little picture comes up, and then the stats you want to keep track of. You can click if you won the game and when you played it. Um, and then you can check your user stats, the app's total. So this is everyone who has downloaded the app. You can see for flag football, for soccer. Jack, I'm impressed. Have, have you built apps before this class? I have not. <laughs> Fantastic. Hi, my name is Remy. Uh, I am demoing Lost and Found. I'm currently a junior in CSOM at Boston College. It's an on-campus app for members of the BC community to post about things they've lost or things they've found. It begins with a sign-on screen where you have to sign on. If and here we have a number of different posts that people have made, which are things that they've either found or lost. When you click on them, you can either see your posts or posts that people have made before. Uh, here's one that I made uh, about the AirPods that were left in the gym. I can click on someone else's post and it shows me details. Here, they found an item, it was their friend's keys. They found them somewhere in their bathroom, it looks like. And if you think that you know something about it, if we choose a lost item, if I think that know something about it, you can click on this and you can send an email directly to the poster of the app. That looks super useful. Had, had you built a lot of apps before this class, Remy? No, I never built an app. Never built an app and you're now you got this multi-user app, super useful app. Hi, I'm Marilyn. I'm a junior and I'm studying finance and computer science. So for my app, I made Simply Cooking, which is an app that uses a Firestore login. And then once you log in, it uses an API to get you different categories of recipes. And you could either change your category through like a picker or you could go back and change it. And then there are different recipes that when you select on, you could see the ingredients and the instructions. If you choose to like one of the recipes, you could go to your favorites and then you could see all the recipes that you've liked. This looks fantastic. <laughs> so did you build a lot of apps before this class? No, never. Hi, I'm Jay Noonan. I am MCAS, class of 2023. Programs and apps called What to Watch, which is the TV show review app. You can sign up now that I've made an account. On the home page, we have the, our cute title, What to Watch, and a display that shows the top 10 user-reviewed TV shows that are already within the database. This app communicates with an API, wherein you could grab uh, information on different TV shows and bring in the reviews, but if it hasn't been reviewed yet, then it's not in the database. Uh, if we want to search for a show in the database, we can do that. See the office. You get a little bio about it, uh, online rating, user rating, total reviews, when it premiered, when it ended. If you want to see the episodes, you can go in the episode view, check any of the episodes. This has all been loaded in. Gives a little bio about each of them. Uh, if you want to see any of the reviews, this is that, that view. These are organized uh, in descending order by recency. Uh, so the most recent is at the top. You can go in and check out the rating, average rating, it's compared below, and then the comment, whatever that is, as well as the date created at the bottom. If you want to add a review, uh, I want to give it a six. I didn't really like it. Now the rating's down to 8.1. Uh, if you want to add a new show, Resident Alien, bang, shows up right there. 10 flat comment, outstanding. Check the front page. That's my number one overall now by the user rating. But check the online rating now, fell down to number nine. 
Jay, That's this it. is impressive. Did you build a lot of apps before this class? Nah, I've never built an app. Before, never no. built an app and you're throwing down, you've got API calls and multi-user databases and sign-ins and all that other stuff. Did all this in one semester. I did. It's excellent work. So feel good about your skills and uh, Jay, are you still looking for a job? I am, yeah. All right, so now you know where you can get some of that engineering <laughs> skill. All right, so my name is Kaino Jim. I'm in MCAS, class of 2024, studying computer science. For my app, I made a recipe book so I could share online recipes with my uh, family. You can sign into the app, and what the home the home page is is just a, a view of all the recipes, and you can go to the category view to just see um, the recipes separated out by their own categories. You can add a recipe here. You have the name. Uh, how long it takes, what, like what kind of category it's in, ingredients, instructions, and you can add a photo as well. You see we have all those filled out, and a nice picture of some chocolate chip cookies so that you can only edit the, um, the recipes if you're the one that, that uploaded it. I know, this looks great. Do you have an internship or job lined up? Not yet, but I'm looking. But, and, and you built this, well you got Firebase in here mm -hmm. and all this other stuff. Have you built apps before this class? I have not. Anybody wants a fast learner, they know now that you know where you can get in touch with Kainoa Jim. Straight from Hawaii, but ready to work anywhere, right? Hi, I'm Sabrina. I'm a lit student at Boston College. I made a trivia app and press play. And there's 10 questions for each um, round. You can click through and it tells you if you're correct or wrong. At the end, it will give you um, a different screen depending on what score you got. So it gives you your score, your high score, and then a meme and a quote relating to your score. And then you can play again. How fun! Oh, it was fantastic! <laughs> Have you built apps before this class? No. <laughs> well, congratulations! This is great! Hi, my name is Griffin Coates. I'm a junior and I'm co-concentrating in general management and information systems. My app is called Backcover. It is a uh, database um, amongst just students at Boston College so that you can uh, upload and purchase used and new and trashed textbooks. You can search up available listings. So it'll tell me the price of what this person is selling it for at ISBN so I can connect and make sure it's the same textbook, the condition of it, and the contact email of who I can contact about purchasing the textbook. So my listings, I can see I uploaded my SwiftUI Volume 3 textbook with an image of my app and I can upload that data onto the database. I can also add a new upload. My own listings will not show up on this page so if I look up Swift UI nothing comes up. So yeah. This is looking good. Did you build a lot of apps before this class? I have not, no. And are you looking for a job or an internship? I am. Yes. Oh so now you know where you can get some of that good Griffin talent. Hi, I'm Michael Carbone. I'm a junior in CSOM studying accounting and information systems. This is my app called BC Lifts. It's a gym app for only BC students. And it's, uh, it's a very practical app for BC gym goers. It has the different floors and a small description and pictures of what's going on. You can also add your exercises. Each exercise has name, type, sets and reps, and what floor, and you can also add a picture if you want. My favorite part is the rep counter, so you can set the amount of reps, reps and sets. So if I want 10 sets, each with 10 reps, I start my timer, I click on a button and it disappears. I completed my set, and I keep going. Well, that's all right, and we have a fairly new um, recreation complex here too, yes, so it's great. So if anybody wants to go and, and, and get buff as their new year resolution, Michael is the guy to, to, to come and see. Do you have a job lined up? Uh, not after graduation. No. Not after graduation. So, 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 all right. Well, we need now. You know, we can get some of that that that, that scholar athlete uh, um, experience from Michael. Nice work. Have you built apps like this before, class? No, I have not. Hi, my name is Liam Ruddy. I am a junior studying finance and accounting here at BC. I took my first uh, app development course this year. And so I built a movie uh, database app, in which case all the movies that are currently playing in theaters in the U.S. immediately appear on screen, and you can scroll through, pick whichever one you like. I'm a big Marvel fan, so I'll pick Black Panther, and it gives you a nice little synopsis of the movie, how long it is, its public rating, and it gives you a little link right here in which you can go and get tickets. It also has a location feature, and it will show you. We're in uh, Chestnut Hill, Mass. right now, so it will show you Chestnut Hill Showtime currently, and you can book a movie from there. Hi, I'm Andrew Kamboris. I'm a junior here at BC studying business analytics and finance, and my app, it's called Messenger, and it's, it's, uh, it's actually just like a messenger app, like a Facebook messenger. So you log in, and once you log in, all the messages, other user here, Airplane, and say, how is it going? 
and in real time it'll show up on the other screen. And then here, it, and the recent message it will show up and it will say like how long ago the message was sent. Whoa, that's pretty awesome stuff. So had you built a lot of apps before this class? I have never built an app. And you got multi-user and you're doing Firestore in here and that's pretty fantastic. Do you have a job lined up for the summer or internship? I do not. not uh, anybody wants this fast learning Android talent, now you know where to contact them.